Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before I get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. So as we all know, we have another Old Farm Clash coming up this campaign, with that game taking place on Saturday as we look to reduce the gap by 3 points in the league. So Michael Beale will get his chance to reduce the 9 point gap during this game, and to do that we will need our best squad available on the day, giving us the best chance possible to get that done. So it's definitely set to be a great game as they always are in Glasgow, and with the chance to get one over on them it will surely be a game we are all looking forward to. So this news actually comes from the Glasgow Times who have went on to say, Rangers youngster Adam Devine has been ruled out of any involvement in the Old Firm game. The fullback has featured on a number of occasions for the Ibrox first team this season, but it's also turned out for the B team in the Lowland League, and it's due to the latter that he is reportedly ineligible to face Celtic due to a suspension picked up in the Lowland League. Devine did feature for Rangers B at Ibrox on Sunday in a 3-1 loss to Celtic B, with three players unfortunately being sent off for Rangers on the day. The fullback was sent off for a lunge in the closing stages of the match. And the reporters went on to say that the red card will see Devine suspended for the first team, even though it was picked up in the Lowland League. And that's because Devine is viewed as a senior player by the Scottish FA, having actually played more times for the first team than the B team this campaign. It's claimed that he will miss both the match against Celtic and the Ibrox fixture against St Mirren, which will be a big loss for Michael Beale as we all know that he is a great player. So Adam Devine has actually featured seven times for the first team this campaign, and according to transfermarket.co.uk he has a current value of 250000 with his current deal in Glasgow set to expire in 2025. So what do you guys think then? I personally think it will be a big loss for us in our squad depth on the day. Obviously he isn't a main player for us just yet at first team level. However he is a great player who can add cover in both left back and right back. So it will be a loss not having him on the bench for the upcoming games. We do have Yelmaz back though which will soften the blow in the cover area. However you never know what will happen and it's always good to have players available. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.